that fight was just so off the rails at the end. I love that he punched the <laughs> that monster like twice in the mouth, but didn't get bit. I was just like, well, one time you shocked him. I was like, there's no way. He's going to pull his hand. It's going to be gone. Nope. Pulls his hand right back out. <laughs> I was just hey, like, yeah, break. He, he did it for family. Tom. All right. That's where he got his strength. Family. <laughs> and maybe we need like uh, Dom Toretto to show up for some reason. Yeah, like in Russia. Just with his like 70s charger, like just <laughs> driving right into like the, the, the mother. A lot of aliens this summer. Mm -hmm. Summer of aliens. Yeah. Can't I think wish that Pentagon drop was kind of uh, anticlimactic, right? Yeah. I mean, but it's still pretty crazy that they even admitted it. And they admitted it, but we're in such a... Uh, we're like, eh, no, who cares? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're, we got too much going on. Too much stimuli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The needle. All right, man. Well, let's get going. Let's get going with this movie. <laughs> Three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back hey. to the Nightcap. Welcome Cheers, back, everybody. guys. Hopefully, everyone had a great Fourth of July weekend. Uh, got their fill of uh, hamburgers and hot dogs. Because hopefully, everyone still has ten fingers and uh, <laughs> your loved ones as well. Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? What's going on in this uh, warm summer, summer evening? It is warm. I'm sweating right now. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna do the. Uh, like I said, man, we left them off with the Independence Day and aliens, and we're coming right back with aliens. Yeah. We're gonna review. Um, was it the uh, edge of tomorrow war judgment independence day yeah so. exactly yeah it definitely feels like a little bit of a frankenstein of ideas but mm -hmm. before we get to that if this is your first time watching the show guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button does us a favor also leave a comment uh you know they kind yeah, of tweak the algorithm. algorithms these mm -hmm. days and really comments uh they do a lot so uh even if you just want to you know, drop in there and tell us how much uh, you disliked it. That's okay too, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll fight you. We like to we like to argue, so just mm -hmm. prepare for that. But uh, if you liked it, even better. <laughs> and uh, also, I'm gonna go ahead and put up our grading system right now, uh, so you can see how we break down movies. We like to go category by category, give a numeric score at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And if you're interested, I'll go ahead and put up our Instagram handle right now as well, so you can follow us along there um, if you so please. But uh, Let's talk about this movie, man. Tomorrow Absolutely. War. Huh. I, I remember I first saw the trailer and I was like, man, that is a really cool concept. And I remember I sent you the trailer, too. But then that, right after I saw the trailer, I started like, you know, the logic part of me started like kicking in. I'm like, oh, all right. They came from the future. We're going to we need you to fight in the future. I'm like, OK, well, how come you didn't just go back right before the war that happened? So, it, yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of that in this in this plot mm -hmm. storyline thing i mean let's just hop right into it so yeah in terms of uh, story i end up giving it a three just because of that uh whenever you're mm -hmm. dealing with uh time travel type stuff and paradoxes i mean it's tricky we all know it gets, it. And, it gets sticky yeah it, there's no way to really get quite get it right because no one really knows for sure how any of that would really work mm -hmm. but also too there's a lot borrowed in this story right a lot of the themes feel very familiar like <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a pretty annihilation much. of the human race. We just did it in Independence Day. Yeah, but even the aliens themselves, right? Uh, just the way that they, they fight and they attack and very reminiscent of uh, aliens, you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. here you are fighting again, too, for, for planet Earth, like Independence Day. And then there's just, just a lot of stuff. And then kind of this almost, at least to me, I, I made the kind of connection, almost like a John Connor type figure, right? With the parent yeah. going in the past to protect, you know, the, the young one, or in this case, going to the future. But I don't know, it just felt a lot of... Uh, Borrowed seemed, themes, you know what I mean? It seemed familiar, but in the same sense, after I did watch the trailer and, I, and my logic started kicking and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to kick that out the door and I just want to have fun with it because it's supposed to be a summer blockbuster, yes. right? It's true. So, it's true. so here's the thing. I, I gave it a very generous seven out of 10 because I did Oof. like the concept. I, I hated the name of the white stripes, uh, white spikes. <laughs> sorry, not the 2000, not, not, not the early 2000 band. I'm sorry. God, those guys, they're horrible. We got to go back in time to take them out. <laughs> <laughs> um but but it was a cool concept like you know there's gonna be a world draft and like all these these draft these like the tour of duty seven days only 20 percent come back it's, yeah so it was a cool concept but you know it could have been executed better yes 
Are there huge plot holes? Yes. But I had I had to, you know, put the blinders on in that and just be like, you know what? I'm going to have fun with this movie. And it's it, it is a fun movie. So, yeah, yeah. I gave it generous. I mean, that's seven that's, seven. that's kind of the way you approach it. And so, I mean, we're going to get that into that as we get deeper here into the story. Mm-hmm. But let's uh, let's talk about production overall. I mean, uh, I'm looking here just off the notes in Wikipedia. Pretty big budget. This ain't 200 oh, yeah. million. There's a lot of actors in here, some known actors in here as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the CG and, and the, the aliens themselves, they look fine. Um, a couple yeah. of times they could have stood out a little bit. I mean, obviously, they, they, they relied heavily on CG and there's a lot of big mm-hmm. shots, um, you know, with them storming the base and whatnot. Um, but overall, I thought it was OK. Um, nothing like that really leaves like a strong impression on you. But I give it a 14 out of 20. Would you oh, give it in terms of score? I give it a 17. Man, something happened during, during Fourth of July weekend for you. You're a little, you're a little stingy <laughs> today. But I give it a 17. Big out old of softy right now. 17 out of 20. My goodness. 70. It looked great. I like the des- I, We were talking. I like the design of the white spikes. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that later. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They look ferocious. They look, yes, they look a little familiar, but all in all, they, I like that they, they were just ferocious. They were like, you know, these are, these, these things are like spoiler, like they're like kind of like, you know, literally just set this destroy worlds, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they were like the pets, like animals. It almost, they, it almost like, again, like it felt very much like aliens. Like you don't really know, like, were they sent there on purpose? Yeah. Were they there, like, sent as like a biological weapon or did they overtake? whoever was transporting them mm-hmm. very much like aliens. Right. And one thing I'll say also touching on production. Um, I thought the score was pretty good, uh, especially for like the dramatic parts and stuff. It built it up nicely. Um, but the sounds of the aliens themselves, the kind of clicking and the roars definitely felt very borrowed again. I don't know. To me, yes. I, like the clicking kind of reminded me of like predator a little bit, you know, and then yeah. obviously like the it's, gut wrenching roars. I don't know. It's almost like the white spikes were the exoskeleton of independence day, but with a predator like face. Almost. yeah it's like they and combined like, them yeah but then like had the movement of alien and then like shooting the white spikes uh, like, and then it had like the little tentacles of like what was that movie tremors <laughs> <laughs> i love that movie oh man it's a classic tremors. movie you know what i mean but it shoots out like dart bone spike things yeah but but again like the production i gave it a 17 out of 20 it, it looked great and then the imagery there like i when he went to go like obviously spoilers here when he went to go like save jump to save his like future daughter that was such a cool image when it's him like trying to reach out and grab her and like all the all the aliens are like coming in like that was yeah. a really cool image it was almost 300-esque like yeah you know, that was that was very like zach snyder-esque i agree yeah one thing that kind of bothered me though a little bit too um it would really grind my gears <laughs> is uh <laughs> the guns they just felt like woefully underarmed in this I like, was about this to the mention future. That. like we don't have anything better than like freaking yeah. like compact assault rifles i don't know i was just kind of bothered me yeah like this is 30 years in the future all right guys and i was thinking all right they're gonna have like lasers or something they they were able to they were able to like you know ragtag slap together a time machine you didn't think that they had better <laughs> weapons no it's still the same old just pretty much like AR fifteen, but like kind of with a little bit of. Apparently, bell. there's no Democrats in the future because they didn't. They didn't manage to ban those yet. <laughs> <laughs> but they did get a little bit on the not political side, but we'll get on that about the global warming, guys. All right, mm-hmm. okay. global warming is going to release the aliens, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what I learned. <laughs> let's get, I think we're digressing a little bit too much. Let's uh, <laughs> let's transition into the acting. Uh, man, can't really look any further than than Chris Pratt, right? Mm-hmm. Very likable. Very. I only gave the the acting nineteen out of thirty, and that's pretty much for Chris Pratt because he's so likable, and I just like the dude. Like he's a good leading man. Like which you definitely didn't see when he was like in that show with a Park and Rec. Like you I was like this is not this this tub not tubby but like kind of like you know. Normal looking guy. This guy is not a leading actor. But then yeah. he kind of this, you know, proved us wrong when he became like Star Lord in um, Guardians of the Galaxy, and he just took it from there. And yeah, he he kept this thing afloat. And but it, all in all, is good ensemble cast. Um, J.K. Simmons. Yeah. Always, I, I always like him. Dude, this can I just say this guy was deezed up in this. Dude, movie. I like when like, uh, what, what did that one uh, guy called him? He's like, hey, conspiracy Santa. Conspiracy. <laughs> Crack Dude, me this up. guy, <laughs> over sixty years old. Diced out of his socks. Like mm-hmm. I don't I'm just saying, man. Maybe, maybe Derek from More Place More Days needs to do a natty or not on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, I'll say this uh, as much as I like Pratt, he's looking very natty these days. <laughs> don't get me wrong, he didn't look bad. He didn't look bad. And I'm not one to talk, but yeah, he didn't look uh, quite as impressive, like you said, as uh, Simmons did. 
dude, like six over 60 years old, like jacked. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, well, mm-hmm. But the rest of the the rest of the actors were especially uh God, let me check my notes. Um Sam Richardson as Charlie, the supposedly yeah, he was good. Co- co- I didn't like him. Like the comedic, like he's supposed to be the comic relief, never hit. None of his really? one-liners hit. Oh, yeah. see, okay. I actually, I actually totally disagree. I thought he was funny. I thought really? it came, I, th- I felt natural to me. I don't know. Ah, uh, I couldn't. I, I didn't. I didn't like it, man. It wasn't as natural as like. Remember Kong versus Godzilla when there was that that the conspiracy guy that was also supposed to be the comic relief, but he was actually really good at it. This one was like, what did he do? Like run around saying shit, 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 shit all the time, like trying not to get killed. Mm. No, man. Like if all, if anything, if they really wanted to focus on a secondary character, I really wanted to see more of like Dorian, the one that, that just kept on going on tours because like, see, he's now that's anyway. where I would disagree with you. Cause I felt like Dorian was kind of cardboard cut out kind mm. of wooden. I, I really didn't buy him as, that much as a character. I mean, I get his, like his, his role in the plot, but for overall, I, I could have done without him. Um, oh. Even that, uh, um, I don't know her name, the character's name, the the actress that had like the scar on her face, like her too. Like, I don't really know that she was really needed that much. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she's the first one who like, right, shows up on that, that soccer game and, you know, right. talks about the tomorrow war. But then once you go to the future and you meet the daughter, right? Spoiler again. Sorry, guys, if you yeah. haven't watched this, um, then you kind of don't really need her anymore. Oh, yeah. Like you forgot that she was still totally still around. Like you think like she was the first one to come in. You're like, all right, she's going to have a big part. You didn't see her until the very end when they try to, you know, spoiler it again, try to, you know, stop the war from ever happening. But yeah, man, like I ag- agree to disagree because I didn't like that guy. I, not, I didn't like not like him, but, you know, his dialogue didn't do anything for me. His comedic timing didn't do anything for me. So pretty much this this movie was all about, you know, Chris Pratt and like, you know, J.K. Simmons, you know, family. <laughs> right on yeah i give it a 20 uh 20 out of 30 for acting so i'm not that far uh just a little bit higher than you but uh let's get into uh let's get into the directing and uh you know what i'll go ahead and let you kick this one off like i, I didn't want to be too heavy-handed on this like i said i want to just come in this movie blinders on just enjoy it and not look at all the gaping plot holes i gave it a 20 out of 30 it moved well uh it was action throughout i mean right from the get-go right when they you saw them like the beginning of the movie you saw them falling from the sky you're like okay i'm in and then, like, you know, it, it quickly introduces, like, you know, when they came in from the in the soccer game and then right away, right to the world draft. So it moved well, even though it was almost two and a half hours. But it still sucks, man. Like, I cannot get over the big plot holes because that was the first thing I thought of when I saw the trailer. I'm like, OK. You you were able to do a time machine, come back to the to the past to help of how come you couldn't just go to the right when before the war started? But they try to they, they explain all that away. Flimsy, mind you. They're like, oh, yeah, we kind of put it all together really fast with duct tape and chicken and wire. And we can only do it strictly 30 years. I'm like, yeah, okay. we never get an explanation of how they came across time travel. Right. Um, and or the paradoxes that are like implied by him going there and then, you know, talking to his daughter and interacting mm-hmm. with her, they all just kind of wipe it away and kind of just, I feel like whenever there was like a tough question asked in the movie, it just kind of took the easy way out and kind of like oh, sidestepped yeah. it, you know? Oh, absolutely. They had to do an easy explanation. Like they even tried to do it between Charlie and um, Forrester right in the beginning. They're like, did you ever notice that all the draftees are already dead that are they're sending back? They're already dead. So maybe they couldn't really screw up the timeline. And then they said, like, all the people that are training us are young because they haven't been born yet. But I'm like, OK, but you're getting sent back to the, the to this war in the future. And literally, there's only 50, 500,000 people left in, on Earth. So pretty much everyone's dead. So it's not like they could really screw anything up. But like I said, man, it when you introduce time travel into a movie, it gets sticky. And, you know, grandfather paradox, like how we learn in Tenet, whatever the hell that meant. So, yeah. <laughs> It, there was a lot of questions I had too. I mean, even like when the uh, the base gets raided and they have the uh, the female chained up, like why didn't they just execute her at that time? Like, well, why play yeah. games? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There was a lot of parts like that too. We just kind of shrug and just kind of go along with it. And, and really, you just a lot of this movie just kind of requires just kind of just suspended disbelief and you just kind of just go with it and have fun, which was fine. Um, but it's at the same time, it's when I go to score the movie, it's hard to ignore those things. So I just want people to understand that because mm-hmm. it's not like I hated the movie, but. There were some things you just, you know, they don't really quite add up at the end. Absolutely. Overall, for directing, I give it an 18 out of 30. Okay. Um, you know, like I said, I, I don't know, really not too familiar with this director. So we'll see. I know that they're 
there's talks about a sequel in the works. Uh, there's already so it'll talks. Be interesting to see how they do it. But I hope they show just a little bit more discipline, at least in the <laughs> writing too. Because even like that that last act when they go to like the uh, the lake bed in Russia or whatever to get very, these things. Very irresponsible. Very, right. very irresponsible. They, and the whole like attack and, and plan was just ridiculous. Yeah. And it just like, kind of goes bananas at the end, right? I mean, even with the action and stuff, he takes him out with the snowmobile. I was just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, irresponsible because they're literally going to jumpstart the war. They're going to jumpstart the annihilation. They're like, all right, we're going to go there six people deep. All right. No, not even Navy SEALs or anything. My crazy dad that I haven't seen in years. And like two people from the future, me, funny guy, and and dude that's about to die. Like all again, right. again, woefully unarmed, by the way. Yeah. Or underarmed, I should say. I'm like, dude, you should just pack forget the freaking rifles. You bring ton backpacks of C4. What are we what are we wasting our time with here? But um, they had the toxin, bro. They had the toxin. toxin. Yeah. Which and how did that work out for you? And then I'm like, okay, you locate the place, call someone back home, be like, we found it. Send more, send help. You know they I mean? even they even said that they're like, oh, we could go back to the government and it'll take years. Yeah, it'll take. Yeah. But you have 30 years until this thing thaws out. But no, let's cut a hole in it and like let them all out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And well, even then, too, I'm like, OK, so what? C call them. Doesn't mean you still can't go in there and start raising hell. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. what if you guys can't stop it and they get past you? At least, you know, help is on the way. Yeah. And let them decide, you know, let them figure it out when, by the time they get there. But, yeah, it was ridiculous. The, like, again, th that fight was just so off the rails at the end. I love that he punched the <laughs> that monster like twice in the mouth but didn't get bit. I was just but like, he, well, one he time he saw him, I was like, there's no way. He's going to pull his hand. It's going to be gone. Nope. Pulls his hand right back out. <laughs> I was just hey, like, God, a break. He, he did it for family. Oh. All right. That's where he got his strength. <laughs> yeah exactly he's i don't maybe we need to like uh dom toretto to show up for some reason yeah like in you. russia just with his like 70s charger like just <laughs> driving right into like the the, the mother like the mother <laughs> bite spike <laughs> we need a crossover man hey chris pratt's from jurassic park Wait, why not let's just mash oh. it all together all they right? they are man they are that's gonna be fast 10 fast 10 30 years in the future preventing this war <laughs> all right man well i think we've kind of uh, hit on this one enough here let's let's go to x factor would you give it in terms of x factor i gave it a five you know i couldn't give it more than that because like i said man i i came in to enjoy this movie and not rip it to shreds even though i could have and i in in me it, in me i wanted to do it i want to do it still because of all the plot holes and all that but Guys, it's it's a fun movie to watch. If you have two hours and 20 minutes free on a Sunday afternoon, go ahead and watch it. You'll probably you'll probably, you know, be entertained for a good portion of it. Yeah, so. I give it a two in terms of X Factor. There's some things I just can overlook. But I like to reiterate what we said earlier. It actually is a fun movie. So don't take it like to heart that I'm like trying to come too hard at this movie. Mm -hmm. And one thing I like that you said earlier, too, is like the pacing is good. So it moves at such a pace that. You can enjoy it. And even though you kind of see some things, you just kind of shrug and just kind of go along and yeah. you kind of get it, you know, and it's a PG-13, too. So they're, they're kind of limited in some ways. You know, they, you know, they weren't going to come super hard, you know, just because it's it's aimed at a slightly younger demographic. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but overall, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's get on get to overall scores. What did you give it in terms of your overall score? I gave it a 68 out of 100. And I was being very generous. Like if very I really generous. wanted to put the. Yeah, if I wanted to put the boots on this, I probably would have really given it probably like low 50s. But like I said, you know, guys, go into this with an open mind. Try not to look at all the plot holes and just have fun with it and not, you know, think about everything else. Yeah, I ended up giving it a 57. Mm -hmm. um, we were pretty close to the Rotten Tomatoes score there, too. Uh, but I know a lot of people did like it. Um, I, I don't know that necessarily... Uh, like don't recommend the movie just i want people to have like realistic realistic expectations mm -hmm. in terms of what you're going to get and uh you know we'll see i don't know maybe if they do a sequel maybe it'll be maybe one of those rare cases where it's actually better than the first once they right. see the success of this one they'll get some good decent writers in there and tighten some of these holes up because uh I, yeah i, I honestly don't there. know where they would go with a sequel like they they prevented the war unless time travel one... bro they can go wherever they want <laughs> <laughs> maybe there was another like female in the ship and they thought out too, and I don't yep. freaking know. See, now you're thinking. Now you're thinking like a Hollywood <laughs> producer, all right? Well, you know. But here's the thing too: like, it, it definitely, I would definitely would have loved to see this on the big screen because it did have an epic scope like that with a big summer blockbuster. Where you know, if you watch this like a, on a big screen IMAX, you probably would get really involved in this movie. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, well, that's all we got uh, tonight from the Nightcap on Tomorrow War. Let us know what you guys think in the comments mm -hmm. below. Did you guys like it? Were we being too hard on it? Did you dislike it? Uh, you know, did, is there anything that we missed uh, that we, we didn't touch on that maybe you guys wanted to point out? Uh, we look forward to hearing you guys' comments. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should there be a sequel? What do you think, Al? Um, I mean, I'll be in for a sequel because, you know, it, like if they tighten a lot of, a lot of you know, things up, and make it just as fun as this one yeah i'll, I'll watch it, especially if it's gonna be just be free on on prime you know but yeah i'll be in for it maybe they'll have, have dom toretto in there yeah if dom toretto's in it then i'm there all right <laughs> <laughs> why not all right he goes outer space okay <laughs> all right man well that's all we got for tonight uh from the nightcap thanks you guys for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you click off and uh any other uh, closing shots before we wrap this up no, no, let's wrap this up because I got to turn the fan back on because it is warm today. Like, it's, I'm about to melt this house and it's going to, aliens are going to come out. <laughs> aliens are going to come out through the floor. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay safe and keep the AC on. Yes, Peace. sir. Have a good night, guys. See you next time. <laughs>